Hey, Daniel Lanier here, and I know you guys got stuff to do. And here at the Project House, we're going to be replacing this existing floodlight with a ring floodlight motion camera system, adding this to our existing security system. So do it yourself. Security has come a long way. It's really an easy process to get into. And ring actually offers monitoring as well. So you can get a monitored do it yourself system. So don't think that you can't, you can do that. So you can do all the security cameras and everything yourself and then add the monitoring to your system. So you have the security of a monitor, 24 hour monitor system. So this project, if you already have an existing floodlight, is gonna be so simple for you. You can definitely do this yourself and we're gonna take you guys on the paces to do it, but it's a definitely easy process that you can do yourself. So we're gonna go ahead and open the box, take a look at everything that we have and then get started. Let's do it. All right, so here we got the ring floodlight cam and this is the wired camera that replaces an existing floodlight. So you already have to have a floodlight in place and wired in order to use this kit right here. So make sure if you, if you have this kit, you got everything wired up, everything's already there because you're bas basically gonna replace your existing floodlights with this kit right here. And this, this inside of this box is really simple. This is all basically, when we get to the wiring, you'll be able to see what's in there. So in this box, it's really simple. You basically got couple things. You got your floodlight and camera. So you got your lights, two floodlights, your camera with motion sensors and everything. So you got that. And like Ring always does, making it really easy for you. You got your installation kit that has your tools in here ready to go. Got all your screws, your wire nuts, your screwdriver. So all the stuff that you need to install this, everything is already pre-set up in the kit already for you. So pretty, pretty simple there. And then you got another mounting bracket. And your instructions and setup. So you got some ring instructions and set up here. So, I mean, look how easy this is. You're basically taking off your old light and you're gonna wire it the same pretty much that you would wire your old light, just follow the instructions. And you're gonna be up and running fairly quickly with this. This, I mean, this, this is really not a lot of setup. The tools are right here, so you don't need to get anything. You don't need to do anything. Now this is for a vertical mount. And what that means is this plate is gonna go flush against the wall like this, all right? So in order, if you have your floodlight is horizontal, where it's underneath an eaves cement or something like that, where it goes like this, Right now, you can't monitor, uh, set this up as is. There are some modifications you would personally have to make in order to do that. So basically, you'd have to kind of hack the system to kind of get it to work. And what I mean the system is the hardware, you'd have to make some modifications to get it to work. It can be done. Now, something we're doing in this video, but you can do that if there's something that you need to do that. We're doing a, a standard setup where we're gonna monitor, uh, we're gonna do the setup as intended, which is a vertical mount against what was existing and already there, all right? So if you have a horizontal mount, just understand this isn't gonna go as set up because you won't be able to get the optimal camera placement in order to do that. So just keep that in mind. There's some hacks you'd have to do on here on your own to get that kind of install. So we're gonna do a standard how Ring has this currently set up and intended to be used. We're gonna do that, all right? So, got everything out of the box. Let's go ahead, we'll get outside and we'll get this going. Let's do it. 
So the first thing you wanna do before you start any electrical project is make sure you've got the power secure. Make sure this power is turned off, and if there's people in the house, make sure you tag the breaker so nobody turns it on. So make sure the power is secure before you start this process, very important. All right, first thing you're gonna do is remove the cover plate. It's just two screws. Some of these might be tight because mine, for instance, was painted over, so. There we go. Oh, critters in there. All right, great. All right, so I did a little cleaning. Got that stuff out of there. My little critters were in there. Get them guys out of there. And basically now, we're just gonna unhook the wires so you got these three whites. Like this. this. Again, started this process by making sure that everything was, power was all turned off. One of the most important things. Then you wanna grab your ring installation kit. And if you've seen any of my other ring videos, you know I love this, these installation kits. They make everything so easy for you. So you're gonna be using these four holes to mount your bracket. So you want the ground down, has an up button, right, uh, up arrow right here, so you can see that. And you wanna use these four screws. And here's the thing about ring. It's gonna give you different lengths. Remember, you want the arrow up, wires through the hole. You don't want to just tighten it down and the reason you have these slots like this is so you can move it so you can get all your screws in so i'll just tighten that first one down because you're probably gonna have to make some adjustments to get the other ones in you're just gonna kind of make sure you got wiggle room and you can see them before you tighten everything down Sometimes you may, with something like this, you may have to take one out, another one, to kind of make sure you can get all, all of them in. And we're doing good, so I don't have to make any more adjustments. Now, once I got all four, I can go ahead and tighten down. I'm gonna tighten this down. All right, everybody's all tight. And you can see we now have these two threaded rods coming out because that's where your light. You have this rubber seal that's gonna help you keep everything weatherproof. So we're good to go. Let's go on to the next step. All right, so when you get ready to mount your light, you're gonna make sure you rotate it so the ring logo is on the top facing up on the camera. So just like this picture I have here and just got the lights moved out of the way just to help install, but you wanna make sure that the ring, the word ring is at the top of your camera and the motion sensors at the bottom. 
So I got this little hook that Ring provides. Like I said, I love how Ring puts their kits together. And I'm gonna take that, because what we're gonna use this for is to hang the light as we do the wiring. I'm gonna hang this, so I'm just using one of the holes here for the bracket. I'm just gonna put the hook through there, and I'm just gonna hang the light. So it's easy for me to do the wiring. I'm not trying to juggle and hang everything. It's really easy to set up and do the wiring now. All right, so we're gonna take our ground, which is this little guy right here. We're gonna unscrew the ground a little bit on the bracket. And we're just gonna take the ground. That around. Now I didn't have a ground coming out of my existing, which is okay. May or may not have that. And I'm just hooking that around. So just kind of hooked it on the ground. And I'm just gonna screw that back down. Tight, perfect. All right, and next is easy. We're just matching colors. It's like we were matching some animals back in the day. Look that up. Some of you guys may not remember that, but we're gonna match some colors now. And basically you're just matching your white to white and black to black and good to go. So let's do that. Now we're just basically gonna do some color matching where we're basically gonna go So I'm going white to white, and then we're gonna go black to black. So you're just matching the colors, okay? So I'm gonna take this little piece off, and I'm just gonna twist my end up. I'm gonna match it up with this end. And then I'm gonna take one of my wire nuts, Match these guys up together. And I'm gonna take my wire nut, put them both in there, and just tighten that down on there. And that's my white to white. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the black. So again, I'm just gonna take them matching them up next to each other. Take my wire nut. Got them matched up next to each other. Take my wire nut. Both in there. Tight. There we go. So, actually have everything set up. All the wiring's done. All we got to do is close this thing up, and we're actually pretty much done with the installation piece. Then we just got to set it up. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll bucket it up, button it up. So I'm just gonna push these the casing. Back in there. Take off the hook. And then you're just gonna kind of line up. And you see this is why I got those lights up out of the way. Makes it easy.
caps. And these caps, you're basically gonna take off the end of the ring screwdriver. It's like a little nut driver right there. So you take these white caps. Come on. Drive that down. I'm going back and forth so I can get them on even. And there we have it. We're all installed and ready to go. We just gotta put the lights down. Gonna turn on the breaker, make sure we're good. There we go, we are good. Get motion, get lights. Motion, get lights. Very nice, love it. All right, cool. So now we gotta go through and set it up and add it to our ring system. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set up the floodlight and we're gonna add it to the ring app now typically when you're doing a setup it's going to get to the point when you power that camera on to take you to the setup area to add the device so i'm going to go through this video like you were just adding it right in the app in the menu because it's going to give somebody some value too so this is another way you can go ahead and add a device to your ring setup so you see you got down here at the bottom you have this little plus down here where you can say add device you can click on that where you can add the device here or you can go to the main menu which we're going to go to the main menu here in the upper left hand corner and we're going to go to add device here so you have multiple ways that you can go through this process we're going to go in the upper left hand corner and we're going to add it from right here all right so here in the main menu we're going to choose set up a device so when you go to set up a device, it's going to ask you what type of ring device are you trying to set up? So we're going to pick security cams. So that's going to give us the security cam. Now, when we do that, it's going to ask us to scan the QR code that came with our device. The QR code is located on a sheet that comes with your ring device. You can also find it on the box or on the device itself. So you're going to scan the one that's on the sheet and we're gonna scan that, which is a unique identifier for our ring device. It also recognizes what type of device you have. As you can see, it already says floodlight cam, so it recognizes that this is the floodlight cam. The next step is choosing the location for your camera. So you're gonna choose a location where you're setting up your camera. Now, if you have like a rental property or something like that, you could have multiple locations. So you're gonna choose the right location that you're setting up your ring device at. So we're gonna go ahead and choose this location. So now it's asking us, what do we wanna name this device? So we can use one of the preset names that are here, or we can choose a custom name. So we're gonna choose custom, and then we're gonna name our device. Now I named this device Be Right because it's the backyard right camera. So I'm gonna type in the name that I want, and then I'm gonna click continue. So now it's gonna take that device. It's asking me, have I installed my device already? And yes, I have. So we're gonna hit install. So now what it's gonna do is it's gonna set up a temporary hotspot to connect the Ring app on your mobile device 
to the camera itself. So once it recognizes the Ring device on the mobile app, it's gonna recognize your network, so your home network, and then you're gonna choose the network that you have. So we're gonna choose our network. And now it's gonna connect the camera to that specific network. So it removes the temporary hotspot, connects the camera to your home network, which allows it to now be a part of your ring network. And now you're good to go. You've got this camera installed on your ring network and it's all set up and good to go. So this video was made adding a device to an already existing ring network. I already had everything set up. My location was set up. Everything was already set up for my ring network when I added the floodlight cam. If this is your first cam that you're adding or your first ring device that you're adding, I want you to look at the doorbell cam setup because that video will show you what it's like to set up something for the first time because there's a few more steps that you're going to have to go through to set something up for this first time. You're going to have to set up a location. You can add more security preferences when you set up a device the first time or you're setting up your ring network the first time. So this video is just adding to an existing ring network that you already have. All right, so there it is. The ring floodlight cam set up, installed, good to go. If you're looking for a DIY security system, ring is definitely the way to go. This camera is fantastic. It looks good at night. It looks good in the day. And when I'm talking about at night, it looks good with the lights on or off. You can really see with this camera. It's just a great overall setup if you're trying to do DIY security. And Ring makes it really easy to install. That little hanger feature, when they included the hanger in there to hang the light while you're installing the wires, man, I love that. That's how Ring thinks about the customers. Make the process really easy to set up DIY security for yourself. Love it. Ring floodlight cam, fantastic, easy install. Check it out, really cool stuff. This is Daniil Lanier. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. More